Detroit Tigers beat the Tampa Bay Rays today, 10-4 to in the first game of a three-game set. So that was a really great game to watch today. Our bats were going the entire day. Uh, 11 hits from us, 10 from them, uh, but we got 10 runs. I think we got four, so we had the big-time hits. We had a three-run homer and a grand slam, so today was just really fun baseball to watch. We can get right into the box score. Uh, two for four for Badu with a walk. A great game. Uh, he had a triple in the sixth that started uh, our scoring. Uh, it didn't start the scoring, but it really helped our scoring because they scored uh, the inning before us, and it gave us the lead for the uh, first time within the game. So huge game from Badu. He also had that walk in the seventh and then a single in the eighth. So six, seven, eight, he got on base all every single inning, so that's huge. Uh, scope, two for five with a grand slam and a infield single. Uh, that was a huge game. That grand slam put them away. It gave us the lead. We were down three to four, and that grand slam put us up seven to four. So that won us the game there. Scope gets player of the game for sure. He was 0 for three up until that point. So it was a huge hit and way to bounce back. Um, Grossman. 0 for 4, rough day, but he had a walk, and he's had a stolen base, and then he scored in the 6th off uh, Candelario's double, so decent game, but you don't you don't always see that from Robbie. Uh, Miguel, 2 for 4, he had a single and another single, both in his first two plate appearances. He extended his hitting streak to 9 straight game, or nine straight at-bats with a uh, hit, so that's actually really impressive. Uh, Candelario, 1 for 4, we talked about his double. Uh, it was a huge hit because Badu had a leadoff triple, and it looked like we weren't going to get him to uh, home plate. So it was really uh, clutch that Candelaria got that double because Grossman walked, Scope struck out, and then Miguel struck out. So it was looking really uh, poor. There. Like we were, and then Candelaria got the 0-2. So it was just looking really bad there, and Candelaria smoked one to deep center. I thought it was gone, but it was close to being gone, but not fully. Just a huge hit still. Uh, Eric Haas, one for four with a huge homer. He crushed it, 416 feet. Uh, he also had a fielder's choice in the second, but a great game. You'll love to see that from your catcher. One for three in the uh, full game with a walk as well in the eighth. Uh, Nico Goodrum is someone I wanted to talk about. Great game from Nico. Uh, he had a lot of lawn at bats today. So, in that seventh inning, he uh, the the inning we scored the grand slam, he hit the first uh, double to start the rally. So. Great game from Nico. I don't really say that too often, but I'm glad he's shown and proven me wrong and uh, shown the Tigers he's worth it to get everyday playing time because he's playing over uh, Harold Castro. Uh, Willie Castro, one for three. He had a single in the seventh. I believe he got pinch hit for Harold, so uh, we can get into Harold later. Victor Ray is the one for uh, one for one with a three-run homer. He crushed it 430 feet to. Uh, right field smoked it almost hit the Pepsi Porsche it was one of the uh furthest or farthest homers I've seen this season and you don't expect that from Victor Reyes so that was a, a really cool thing to say or see I, I've been advocating for Victor to be playing a little bit more so I'm, I'm glad he's proven the uh or proven my theory right there so Derek Hill 0 for 2 with uh two strikeouts rough game I'm pretty sure he got pinch hit for for Victor Reyes and then Badu switched over to center, and Victor took over right. But rough game from Hill. You don't ever like to see him striking out, at least making contact. Because with his speed, if it's a ground ball, almost a hit at least half the time. So uh, Harold Castro 0 for 2, not a great game. Uh, something that was ridiculous, though, was that strikeout in the seventh inning. The ball, the, the pitch wasn't even close. It was a ball. It wasn't even close. It was like three or four inches uh, over. The strike or nowhere near the strike zone. It was just one of the worst strike three calls I'd seen in a long time. Luckily, scope came through in the end, but that would have been really frustrating if we didn't get anything from that inning, and that's what happened. But we can get into the pitching here. Uh, so we ha we used six pitchers today, I believe. That was a uh, huge bulk of our bullpen. Again, that seems like we have to do that every single day. But uh, Tyler Alexander four. Four and a third with five hits, one earned run, four Ks. I almost predicted that perfectly. I, th I said four innings, one earned run, five Ks. So once again, one out off, one strikeout off. 
Uh, great, great four innings. He had a little trouble in that fifth inning, or yeah, it was the fifth inning. He had a little bit of trouble then, but he looks he got out of trouble in the other two innings, or he had two innings of trouble and one flawless inning. But he got out of trouble in the those other two innings pretty well. So I'm I'm impressed with Tyler. I don't know how we should use him in the future. Uh, if he should be a starter for like long term, or if we should use him as a permanent stretch guy to do like the third through sixth inning. Or if we should use him as a, just a main bullpen piece, but I, I pick starter if I had to choose. I think he's proven to all of us that he he deserves a starting spot. I want to see him pitch more than just one inning every time. He's super fun to watch pitch. He locates perfectly. He doesn't just spam fastballs and just overpower with fastballs. It's more finesse and location, and it's fun to watch. But Funkhauser came in and he uh, got us out of that jam he did have a walk but he looked decent through uh half of his pitches were strikes half were balls so an average out in for funk but alex lane another high pitch inning uh, he pitched 17 pitches but 12 of them were strikes though so it's not like he was throwing a ton of balls just a lot of foul balls uh, he did give up a hit and it was just one runner on base and two really nice strikeouts but you hate to see the long innings with lane because you know we're gonna have to use him again soon and uh, you don't want him to be tired. Cisnero, another really tough outing. This is the second outing in a row. Uh, he he had Pittsburgh get to him last time. So Jose, Jose Cisnero's got a 2.67 ERA. I believe that leads our team right now. I don't know what it's at after tonight's game. I'm hoping it's still in the twos because I wanted Jose to have a really nice stat line to end the year. But this is two straight games. We've given him multiple runs. He just doesn't, I mean, it wasn't really his fault, to be honest. There was a hit that could have been caught by Hill. It would have been caught normally by Hill and Badu. If Grossman was out there and uh, left over Badu, I just think they didn't want to run into each other again. It kind of looked like they slowed down and wanted, they looked at each other to, uh, to get the ball instead of going to get it. So no one got it, and it just landed in between of them, or in between them. I could definitely see Derek Hill making that catch in a normal uh, day with a different outfielder with him diving catch for sure because it was it was a good hit but uh Jose just didn't look right. He walked two batters again. He's he's been suffering from uh I I think I read elbow pain and not like severe, but I I don't know if he's like injured or if he's just pitching through it, but I'm hoping Jose's uh going to be fixing that control issue and he's going to be okay in the future because uh, he can't keep walking, guys, or he's going to be giving up a ton of runs every inning. Uh, Fulmer looked, eh, two hits. It was a it was a pretty stressful inning, to be honest. We had a uh, three-run lead only. That was before Reyes' is homer. So we weren't really, like, up six runs. So it was still stressful to see Fulmer's inning. He gave up two hits. I believe it was the first two hits of the inning, and then he got the uh, rest of the outs. But it's... I don't know. I just don't love seeing Fulmer out there every night. That, that may just be me. Derek Collin, though, pitched his seventh straight scoreless inning. He's looked great as of late. He has been kind of pitching some garbage time, but he still looks great even when he is pitching in garbage time. So I'm, I'm kind of happy Holland's been shaping his season around. His ERA doesn't look as horrible as it did in the beginning of the season for, like, the majority of it, but... Yeah, that was a great game today. I can go over uh, my predictions for everyone. Uh, I, I already went over Candelario. He was one of them. And then my other one was uh, Badu. Great game from Badu. So that was two good predictions. For the Rays, I picked uh, Luplo, one for three. He had a single. He jumped on Alex Lane, first pitch he saw. And then I also picked Nelson Cruz, but that was pretty obvious. Nelson Cruz always destroys us. Uh, Waka did better than I thought. I thought he was going to give up four runs. He had pretty nice stuff today. Uh, it was a lot of cutters and a lot of changes. His one mistake pitch was a changeup uh, to Haas that he crushed for the homer. Other than that, he looked pretty dominant against us. Uh, someone that we got to that I didn't really expect to get to was uh, JP. I don't even. I'm not even going to attempt to say that last name. Uh, this guy JP. I did not expect us to be able to hit him as well as we did. He he was a pretty good, uh, or he had a really good ERA coming into this. It was in the mid twos. I think it's in the threes now. It's still good, but I do remember watching him pitch last year. So I thought we were gonna get shut down by their bullpen, but we got the Pete Fairbanks as well, and Haas or not Haas, excuse me, Scope at the Grand Slam. We got the Kittredge as well. 
which that guy's got like a 1.5 ERA, so he he's ridiculously dominant. And of course, Fairbanks was uh, really good in the playoffs last year. Uh, Sean Armstrong was not a good bullpen arm. Victor Reyes, if you let Victor Reyes hit one 430 on you, you got to be throwing some dead spin meatballs down the plate because I just I don't see how a not known power hitter can crush it that far in a uh, uh, pretty tough homer uh, ballpark as well. So, yeah, that was a great game today. Uh, I'm going to be back for the pregame tomorrow. Let's hope we can get the series win with a win tomorrow as well. Yeah, be back then.